always like to wear the glove in case anything needs to be brushed off and also so the paint doesn't get on your hand. Now, let's see. All right, what you want to do starting out, sometimes you'll come up with a background that's larger than the one that, that you've got. That's the case, no problem. Just start at one corner, move it to the top left, right, upper right, do four corners like that so your background matches that background. Now you want to get the black on uh, thin but uh, even coat so that way there's no runs in it for when you paint the white. When you start the numbers, <clears throat> you'll notice that the background height is the same height as the stencils. So the way you do it is you want to start the first one about an inch and a half over. This is a number one. And the, for the top and bottom, line up the top of the stencil, top and bottom of the stencil with the top and bottom of the background that you just painted. After you paint the one, you can place the next number as another one. So I just place the number to the left of the one, which is zero, over the one I just painted, and the one will be perfectly positioned. So you can do all the numbers in sequence like that. For example, if you had to paint a five over here, you come to the number just before it, and you place your four over that number, and the five will be lined up. And when you do the glass beads, I always use the small holes in the glass bead so it doesn't come out too quick. And you don't want to hold it real far up from the curb, otherwise they're going to fall too fast and you're going to get little black specks coming through uh, because the white's not dry yet. So, let's see if we can't do this here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start my stopwatch. Notice I'm holding the black upright and white, you know, since it is a traffic thing, you have to be sprayed actually upside down and in one of the striping machines. But I'm going to, instead of upside down, I'm just going to kind of hold it at an angle like this. If you try to spray this straight up, it's going to end up more air coming out than paint. And it's going to get clogged up real quick. Nope. Now, if you make a mistake, you can, let me go ahead and stop it. A minute and four seconds. If you make a mistake, you can use the stencil. It's the easiest thing to do. Just use the stencil and, you know, spray some black. And if that doesn't work, you have to go back and take the number again. Okay, one thing I just discovered I left out was the, after looking at the tape, was the glass beads. I knew I'd leave out something, but fortunately it was just one thing. So what I'm going to do is just pretend I've painted the background. I'm going to start from painting the numbers again, because these are dry. The beads aren't going to stick to them unless they're wet. And uh, I'm going to start from there and just go ahead and apply the glass beads. seconds so I had another 10 seconds figure about a minute 14 seconds and that's it um, 